Welcome to the adventures of Grandpa Nick. Episode 3, The Duck Who Lost Her Quack. Hello, it's Grandpa Nick again. Did I ever tell you the story about the duck who'd lost her quack? Well, it was just like this. i just made a camp. i just got a fire on the go. And Grandpa Nick was just making his favourite tea. When all of a sudden, there was an almighty great crash. It came through the trees. I didn't know what it was. Big smash, bang, wallop, crash. Right down in the corner of my camp. Massive duck. Never seen a duck so big. Oh, I looked at the duck and I said, are you all right? I could hear the, just the occasional grandpa Nick. I could see the beak was moving. But I couldn't hear what she was saying. Are you all right? I said. And she looked very upset. So I said, look, come here, come here. So she came up right next to me and I said, whisper in my ear. Oh dear. Right, okay. So, what she whispered to me was, she got a sore throat. She couldn't quack. She'd been down the river with her ducklings, her eight ducklings, and the ducklings had got into trouble. And they got swept down the river. She couldn't quack. So the ducklings didn't know how to find her. What could I do? I mean, this is not the sort of time where I've got to wait for make a cup of tea. I had to think fast. And I've got it. I've got a blade of grass. I put the blade of grass between my fingers. Let me show you. I put the blade of grass between my fingers, just like that. And that's what I did. I made the noise like a big mother duck. I ran down to the river, ran along the river. I went miles just making the same noise. And then just spied them in the corner of the river, just where the river was spinning round. It's called an eddy. There were the baby ducklings. Found them. So, what did I do? I quickly gathered them up and told them not to worry. I was going to take them back to their mum. And I gently put them in my bag. They were very cold and very wet because they'd been in the water too long. So I took them back to Mother Duck. Poor mother duck, she was in a right state. I said, all right, calm down, they're all all right. They're all a little bit wet, they're all a little bit tired, but I've got them. So she whispered in my ear, she said, oh, thank you, Grandpa Nick, thank you, Grandpa Nick. And she started to name the baby ducklings. And she said, this is Derek, that's Dave, that's Diana, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I said, I'm sorry, I said, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to remember all of these. That's gonna be duck one. Duck two, duck three, duck four, all the way through to duck eight. So what we did, not too close to the fire, but I got all the ducklings just to sit round the fire, and mum and duck, and they all sat there, and they all dried out, and I had a nice cup of tea. And then I had to think about, what was I going to do to help the duck who couldn't quack? A difficult one. It's not like I did with the wolf, I made him some tea. This was going to take many cups of tea to think about. But 
then I've got it. Good old Grandpa Nick. So, while all the ducklings and Mother Duck were just warming themselves by the fire, I got my trusty knife out. But just remember, Grandpa Nick is an adventurer, so he's allowed to have a knife. You can only have a knife when you're older and become an adventurer. So only use knives if you've got a grown up with you. So, I've got a little bit of wood. And what I did was I cut it to a special shape. And then I very carefully cut a notch in it. Because you see the thing is, his mother duck, she couldn't hold the grass like Grandpa Nick did. So, after a short while, all the ducks and the duckling, they fell asleep. I carried on, just making this, and then just as I finished, they all woke up. And I said, Mother Duck, I've got just the thing for you. I said, I realised that, you know, you can't, with your web feet, make a noise like a piece of grass. Because that's going to be impossible. <coughs> she couldn't do that. But I know. What I've done is, look. <coughs> I carved this bit of wood. And I put a bit of grass down inside. And it made just the same noise as a duck. So mother duck say to the ducklings, now when you get lost or you wander off, you'll know how to find me. And that's how the duck got her quack back. So if you like this story, just subscribe to my YouTube channel, tell all your friends, and I'll see you next week for another amazing adventure with Grandpa Nick. Till then, take care.